repeat that he's rapidly losing all credibility after leaked surveillance footage of him attacking Cassie has been making rounds on the internet. New surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video captured on multiple cameras shows Combs wearing only a towel, assaulting his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day referenced actions that seem to match those seen in this video. Even Diddy's apology after settling the lawsuit with Cassie is being ridiculed for how insincere and weak it sounds. There's times in your life, sometimes you gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, I had to go into rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm like, you know, I'm about to go into this next era of my life. And um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of um, positive things, you know, a lot of disruptive things. Um, a lot of things I really don't want everybody, like everybody to know about. Um, so like on the gram, everybody knows about everything, you know? I want a deeper connection with my fans. So I came up with this idea. I was gonna get a special phone number and I was gonna be able to give it to my family, my fans, everybody that's down with the movements that I'm about, you know what I'm saying? The team love movement, you know, bad boy, you know, black excellence, entrepreneurialism, getting money, um, vibrations, inspiration, and um, just special unique content that I'm gonna share on this, on this phone. Yeah, I'm on one, I'm on one, I'm on one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yo, check this out. Woo, I just got about the barber's chair. Um, and the spirit just hit me, and I'm like, man, you know something we all got right now? We got another chance. We got another chance. We got another chance to be better. You got another chance to start that thing that you've been in limbo about how that conversation you got another chance to forgive somebody you have another chance to we could do anything man god gave us that when he woke us up this morning he gave us another chance it's not over he gave us another chance man and we got another chance thank you god Former CIA officer Tracy Walder even mentioned that the FBI probably knows exactly where Diddy is well, thank you for having me, Natasha. I actually am surprised um, that he, he took this step, but he's not sorry. He's sorry he got caught. That's why he made this this step, in my opinion. Um, you know, he went so far as to pay the hotel to keep this video quiet. So I don't believe he's sorry. If he was sorry, this is something he would have admitted to right away. And as you mentioned before, this is something that he has vehemently denied in the past. Yeah, and, and Mark, LA's district attorney uh, has already said that Diddy will not be charged for this assault because of the statute of limitations. We actually spoke with Gloria Allred about this last night, who has represented other victims with allegations against Diddy. She believes charges could still stem from this video. I want to listen to that quickly together. Under the law to file a criminal charge for this type of misconduct, it's too late. Uh, but now that doesn't mean that somehow it might, if the federal government ends up filing, uh, you know, indicting and filing charges against Mr. Combs, it may be that, for example, if they file a RICO violation, that has a longer statute of limitations. 
violation. Mark, what do you think of this, a RICO violation? Well, I think this is a, the, the uh, any criminal charge in state court and the, from the DA's office is the least of his concerns. As Tracy will tell you, I mean, he was hit by the FBI and Homeland Security. They're not there to investigate an assault that occurred in 2016. He's in a box that the feds have caught him in, and he's not going to get out of it, okay? I don't think he's going to get out of it. We're hearing all these rumors and all these lawsuits that are going on that specifically point to human trafficking, sex trafficking as well, where he benefit from, benefited from. This is actually going to be evidence that's going to bootstrap in and going to be able to show in a trial if there ever is one of the, uh, that show. This is how he acts. This is his modus operandi. This is not a new crime that they're going to charge him with, okay? But it could be a predicate act, and Ms. Alred was completely correct. This could be a RICO charge against him. My point is, I think he's already in a box he's not going to climb out of. They just haven't put the lid on it yet. Mm. And Tracy, I saw you nodding there earlier. You know, I'm going to ask you about this, but I also think it's an interesting moment in time because Cassie Ventura's name was dragged through the mud last year when she first came forward with these allegations. Tell me a little bit more about the court of public opinion, first of all, turning in her favor. And then also, could this incident add anything to the FBI investigation into Diddy? Because it's now been almost two months since his homes were raided. Well, I wholeheartedly agree with what Mark said. And I also think, too, the charges from Homeland Security, any federal charges, in my opinion, because I feel this may be a RICO or, or trafficking charge that could come down, is going to take some time. I've worked RICO cases that have taken actually years to investigate. I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen here, but I don't think that this is something that's going to be handed down, an indictment that's going to be handed down very quickly. No. I, yeah. In terms of, oh, I'm sorry. No, in go terms ahead. Of, in terms of the court of public opinion, look, I think Diddy actually dragged the federal government, quite frankly, through the mud. Uh, when these search warrants were executed, he said that they used inappropriate force. In my opinion, this video right now gives them all the reason in the world. The connection between Diddy and other high-profile cases, including Tupac's murder, has been speculated on for years. Puff and Tupac was like a couple, it seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with a big old booty and shit. No, he was gay no more. What? They're driving around, and then you hear these girls say, Tupac, Tupac. You know, uh, we coming up, uh, what's the name? What's that, Flamingo? Yeah, I think that's Flamingo. He's coming up Flamingo and uh, got to the light. He's going to go uh, drink and smoke some weed. And he happened to be hanging out the window. He's hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac. Yeah, he was. So what happens next? And we just came and shit. I ain't going to go into details like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you got it in a book. You didn't play it everything else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, in the book, you said that as you're driving up towards the towards the BMW, with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat, and you said that Tupac pulled out a gun. It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you actually see a gun? Oh shit, once you got the region, I got the ducking. So someone from your car started shooting at Tupac and Shook. Lane starts blasting. Um, you say Shook looks over, he sees you. Yeah. He looks right at you? Yeah, he looks at me. Okay. When he looks over at you, and then you know Tupac's busy getting shot. Uh, evidently, the story is Tupac's trying to either get out yeah, of the back seat or something. Yeah. What do you see happening inside there? Jumping car? out. I seen a bullet going through his head. I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. So Orlando shot him this car across Dre. He leaned over on the window. We rolled down the window. Pop. Who was it? They were drove on my side. I would pop them. You know what I'm saying? But they was on the other side. Right. Puffy gave Zip a million dollars that was supposed to be handed over, and Zip ended up keeping it. And I remember when I interviewed T.K. Kirkland, who was actually roommates with Zip at one point. They were that close. He actually said, yeah, 
The fans said, said that too. Said that like in retrospect, that was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to Puffy by Zip stealing the money. Now Puffy isn't connected to that shit or else it would have been like a murder for hire or something. You know what I'm saying? I, the FBI said they were just Zip. So the, the FBI money. told they you the same thing. said he was a dirty yeah. So the FBI told you that Zip kept that money as well. They said Zip's a dirty motherfucker. Everybody crossed you. You the last one to know every fucking thing. Even lawyers, your friends, everybody can cross your ass. You just don't know. Even the dudes you was riding in the car with every day, like a low jack. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, Zip Zip had a history of ripping people off. Yeah. He never ripped me off. Well, I mean, otherwise, I mean, he wouldn't have... Did he technically do? I mean, if he kept the money that... Yeah. Supposedly. <laughs> True. <laughs> Diddy's close association with Jay-Z, who's been missing from the public eye since Diddy's friends' homes were raided, adds another layer to the saga. A new video of the raid at Sean Diddy Combs' home in Los Angeles from the mother of one of his sons. This one of, That son ended up in handcuffs. Agents also raided Combs' home in Miami. Last week, here's some of the sped up uh, video from those raids. Criminal defense attorney Mark Iglarsh is based in Florida. He's standing by with his take on all of this, but first to chief correspondent, Jonathan Hunt. Hey, Martha, we all saw the pictures of heavily armed agents from Homeland Security Investigations arriving at Sean Coombs' mansion here in LA. But the first, for the first time now, we are seeing what happened inside. As the agents moved along the hallways, weapons drawn, guiding in, guided in part, it appears, by a drone. As they move in to detain two of Combs' adult sons, Justin and Christian, they have their rifles aimed at the pair. The edited video was posted on Instagram by Justin Combs' mother, Misa Hilton, who called the agent's actions overtly militarized and deplorable. Three states working in tandem, and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. And that's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. To the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the houses. Um, yeah. And he was, that was quiet. the worst part of that. Yeah, to see his sons being had. Do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was the that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. Yeah. Money worshippers are so stupid. Oh, my wealth will protect me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How many people have thought that? A lot. Jeffrey Epstein thought that. Yeah. Everybody thinks that. Yeah. That's the lie of wealth. It's going to protect you. Diddy's like, oh, they're not going to do anything to me. And watch what's going to happen to Diddy next. Did you see his apology I haven't video? been following the Diddy. Yeah. Well, Mr. they showed Diddy. a video of, 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 of I know you, you probably obviously probably listen to a lot of hip hop. You give me the vibes of it, but I do. Yeah. yeah so Diddy. Aficionado. Yeah, I can totally see it. So Diddy uh, is, uh, uh, the video comes out of him beating Cassie, his ex-girlfriend, that within 24 hours they settled for $30 million and that story was gone like a year ago or something like that. So finally the video comes out from 2016. <laughs> This video, he's hitting her in the head, pulling her hair, dragging her middle of the hotel. Who I beats women? Like, I don't, I don't want to be racist or anything, but like, you're not supposed yeah. to beat women, right? Yeah. Well, you know, Diddy, a few years ago, was commenting on Chris Brown and Rihanna's controversy on Ellen DeGeneres. And he says, you know, let's just pray for them because we don't know what they're going through. Let's pray for them before we assume what they're going through. Let's just pray for them. So maybe that's what he's going through right now. And then they leaked the video. So all these guys that grew up yeah. with single mothers that are, are really mad at women. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm sure somebody's already asked you this, but have you ever been to a P. Diddy party? Yeah, several, many, honestly. And so can you take us through like what goes on like when you were there? What did I say when y'all asked me 
about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party. Yeah. What'd I say? Money. Money. And sex. That's correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No! That he was recording these... Of course. He is the J. Edgar Hoover hip hop. Mm. Okay. Y'all done seen him put on the pyramid wear the skirt. So let me ask you, when you hear that Cassie was told to hire male escorts to come and the, what they call freak offs now. Yeah. Um, that is something, is that something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood? Yeah. Freak offs. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Everybody know that. I've been saying it. Yeah. I hope your rhymes are as good as your instincts behind Boris Diddy.